here, so I'm going to be able to get all these stained. Really started on stained. So, you know, net positive, I guess. sides again as we always do um, that's also very okay. as I'm still in the middle of rearranging stuff in the shop so the entire shop is a little bit of a hot mess still but that's fine Grab all this stuff. All right. Um, but yeah, same as with paint and everything. Uh, make sure you're doing this in a well ventilated area. All that stuff. Don't go sniffing it and inhaling it. It smells horrible. You, you wouldn't want to smell it anyway. Did this new method of what I do of like brushing it on there. I just need to get a bigger brush. I will get in all these cracks real quickly. This brush. Where's my other brushes at? That's where I had them all right here. But that's fine. We'll just kind of go with it. It'll just take a little bit longer to do it. I don't see. Ooh, there we go. That's gonna work. When you're doing the backside, you definitely want a bigger brush just because there's so much base to cover. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Way, way too much even for just that one, so we'll spread that around as much as we can. And yeah, these are all old ass paint brushes that I have, so um, I've been I you can use rags and everything to spread it around too. Um but then you have to deal with the annoying bit of like trying to clean them and dispose of them properly so they don't catch fire and I found it's easier to brush it on. Yes, if not careful, this stuff can and will catch fire if you're not careful with it. Like what, how it's stored and all that. But this brush is doing an amazing job of this. Oh, and then you also don't want it to sit too long on here. But also it'll start um, getting all sticky, and you know that's actually the bad kind of sticky. You don't want that. So I'll go through and do the sides later with like a smaller brush. Are you love how? Just much of a difference. 
Who's doing the backs of these guys work with this dark stain? And also, this is the other reason I bash these out. Then hopefully this is enough. Oh look at that! No, it's getting like like it completely, mostly gone on it's on the back side. Look cool. I don't know what that's gonna end up looking like on the front side though. At least on the back, it's like it's gonna blend right in. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, because I've batched these out and everything, hopefully going to be enough time that, that I can just go through and wipe them all down. And we'll get go from there with them. But yeah, I absolutely love this dark walnut sting. Just how well it covers and everything. Really darkens everything up on it. Darken up the sick boy a little bit. And yeah, I'll cover those down to the side. They're going to be the same color as well once this hot part dries more. Okay. That looks like it's good. That one's starting to look good. Yeah, now I'm going to go through and get some stuff off of it. I said, I, I still just, I absolutely love, 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 love this thing. Wait, you just want to kind of. At this point, you just want to kind of brush off all the excess and everything, because um, if there's any excess left on the penguin, um, it's pretty much already soaked in. The wood's already soaked up as much as it can, and now it's going to be all sticky if you don't. So, then you just don't want the excess. Brushes on there. That's what I want those. But yeah, now you can definitely start seeing the um, transformation of the penguins. That one needs to dry a little bit more. Like, I don't know how well you'll see this on camera. But it's kind of got like a sheen, a glossy sheen on it. Whereas as, now that they're wiped down and everything, that one doesn't have as much of a sheen. Um, pretty much like it looks wet. Um, so that's how I know when it's good to rub down or not. And we'll Okay, so you'll still kind of see the knot and everything. Huh, that might cover most of the knot on the other side. I'm going to do that. Interesting. But yeah, then after I rub these ones down and everything, that down. Um, now we have to like set these aside and let them go for quite a while, quite a good hour or so before I can flip them over and do the rest of it. Good gravy, I love how that one's looking. Cool. 
cool. Which is why I wanted to do the burning before I did this, that way they'd be more complete, but this is fine. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just look how gorgeous that one turned out. So instead of it being like that little doll and everything, it's gonna be like that nice and dark luster. Oh. Cool. Um, so yeah, we'll let this sit then. Um, I forget how long you're supposed to let it sit. So I think it's supposed to be like an hour or something. Uh, let's see if it says on this. And remember, the more time the stain is allowed to penetrate, the richer and darker the color will be. Second coat. It doesn't really say. So, I might be able to do a, flip these over here for too much longer. So, yeah, it's pretty much already dry. Yeah, we'll just kind of sit here and chit chat with all y'all. How's everyone doing out there? We hope you're all having a good day. Um, all the sawdust all over my phone. is what I use on the back and uh, like to go around the outside of these guys um and then for the feet um I've been using just a provincial stain um and then for the nose right now I've just been kind of doing it leaving it all natural because it's a nice uh, cedar wood that I have already for it so Um, I think while we're waiting for those to dry, um, we're going to go wash this brush off. Uh, Y'all behave for right now, and I will be right back. And just for the fun of it all, I went ahead and grabbed myself a tape measure as well. Just because I'm curious as well. Let's see if I was actually right or not about the sizes of these things. Yep. Gets most of it cleaned out and everything, that's all that really matters. up or anything. About three quarters of an inch. That one about an inch and a half. Okay, so I was a little off. But still pretty close on the guessing of sizes there. I, I, I get A for effort. Um. 
so that one's pretty much all dry now. Yeah, I think here shortly we should be able to flip them over and we'll do the other side. Well, the other side is definitely where we want to start using the small brush um, because of how fine to get into the small details and everything. And again, like I used to use a rag for this, but it just, it was like kind of, for lack of a better term, barbaric. <laughs> and just like trying to get them quiet and make it go where I want it to. But here, just since I have this here and everything, um, that, that's, that's what's going to be known as. So like I try to do like the um, darker color already, but I generally don't stain the noses. They make a nice pop against the color anyway. So, but this is um, some cedar planking I got from someone. <laughs> so I figured add a little bit of character to the penguin. All right. I think we'll take it one at a time. Yeah, it's been about five minutes or so. Yeah. That's going to just we'll flip them one at a time. Start working on this. And again, we just want to be super careful that we don't get. Cross over the lines and everything. But this is where it definitely comes into that, you know, um, being a skilled with a brush, as it can be, which I am not skilled with a brush. Again, it's just back to what I was saying with like the sanding and everything. It's just it's so soothing and everything to kind of sit here and wipe this on and everything. Try to get as close there as we can. I think I had one more brush, one side up on this one. This will be fine. But at least to me, this is the funnest part of these as well, is picking out the stains. Um, because, yeah, I could paint them and everything. But then that just kind of gets boring, and it's much more fun to use kind of stain colors to get the almost correct color that you want. So, I mean, at least to me, anyway. Um, yeah, probably this week I'm going to think off stream, um, but I hate making those noses on stream just because it's, I do some not safe things, I don't want to document that, how about I put it that way. Um, so my nose is made, and then I'll also get, um, see if I can find the burning tool, um, I'll probably at least do one practice burn. And if it goes well, I'll probably save it for next week, then we'll do all of them. And at least get all the noses glued on. But also at the same time, I might just uh, do all the burning off stream as well. And that way we can just go straight to the next set of things next week. But we'll see how it goes. Never say never, as they say.
Let's see what I can get it done and all that stuff. I think it's one of those old paint. This one, and I'll go back to wipe that one down. We'll just kind of repeat that for all of these. And you know, definitely as I've gotten, uh, this is now what? Good God. I don't even know how many now I've made. Um. But I feel like my staining has become better and better each time. I'm not making really mistakes with it now. So just as I keep saying, just nice and relaxing, and no happy little accidents here. I think I might take that um, thicker brush and go through and do the sides, but I'm gonna wait till everything gets all nice and dry before I do that. Yeah, this is definitely when you start also seeing and really seeing the um thing of colors come out as well. And it really is starting to take shape out of a actual penguin. I mean, you know, start taking shape as a penguin, but like the colors are starting to come out now. Keep on rolling with this. Let's see, I also don't think I'm using that much. I don't think it's going to be that much to rub off. Yeah, rub off. Um. But we'll still make sure we wipe down all the excess and everything. Got a little bit on his head there, but that's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and take this. And go ahead and carefully rub the excess that there might be on this one now. Yeah, it becomes a very delicate process because you don't want to to spread too much. That guy over there. And you the guy over here. And get to work on this one. Oh. 
He's up there. The not one's going to come next. <coughs> As I'm excited to see actually how bad the not placement ends up being. After we stain it and everything. I never thought it would actually blend away with being stained. But may end up being like that, so we'll have to wait and see. Have to build up the anticipation with it. I'll almost be a little sad if it does take it away, but it'll still it'll, it'll live on in our memories. Okay, this one is not taking really any stain in. Thank you. That's my I I just I love how the stains um just come across and everything um I, I said it earlier but i'm like you know i could paint them but I, I feel it gives it kind of like a nice little more unique approach to do it um the stain colors makes it more look unique and everything like that whatever you want to call it unique or special or something And the other one, when it comes time to do it and everything, the um, actual middle itself, I don't put anything on there. Because, you know, it's supposed to be white. Um, and I always love seeing how the different woods um, react when I put the clear coat on it. And also, I'm loving this grain on this one. This one's almost coming out tiger striped. It's so cool. Cool. And also, I thought, is that is that some type of wood pun saying solid choice? Yeah, I forget what it was, but like I was just tired or something to the last uh, batch of penguins. Found out the very hard way. Don't just don't leave the thing overnight. Oh, that was one that got all kinds of sticky and all kinds of bad. All right, so. If the stain helps cover this knot, then it's pretty much just going to be like a little half moon above it. Which will make it slightly less unfortunate looking. Which is also kind of cool. I'm still a little sad in that the eyes got ripped out a little bit with the drill. Not sure how it happened. I think the soft wood and everything. Um, yeah. 
that is. At least right now, we'll see if once it soaks in, how much of that knot it's actually going to cover. And this is also one of those reasons that, you know, just because something might have an imperfection like that, just keep going with it because you never know what's gonna how that's gonna turn out in the end. Um, same thing with the eyes. I mean, yes, that was an unfortunate accident, but at the same time, I don't know how it's gonna end up looking and everything. Once I get everything done up on it, maybe it's gonna end up looking cool. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens with it. This is why I just kind of, at least with, when it comes to me and woodworking, I kind of just embrace the mistakes and let the wood speak for itself. Because for the most part, it is still a living thing. I'm so far loving how these ones are coming out. Th this one as well, because it's the same um, wood as this other one, uh, coming out like almost tiger stripes, which just makes it look so cool. So let's wash that one. Look at that. Very, very much so, it still has the tiger stripes and everything. I just absolutely love that. That is so awesome. And again, if you painted it, you'd hide almost all of that natural beauty right there. But thankfully, since we're staining them, all that stands out and you can see all that prettiness. So, I, I am so far out just absolutely loving how these are coming out. I'm sorry, especially this one, just look how nice and now that's dried and everything, that is just looking beautiful. Oops. Yeah. I don't know how that happened on there. Um, but this is another one that I'm going to be interested to see how it turns out. Um, so it's kind of got like a darker arm right there. I don't know how that's going to end up being with the stain and everything, so we'll have to see how that turns out. Like, is it going to still be dark with the stain, or is it going to be um, even out, so to speak? And also, since it's a different grain, how's that going to end up looking? But yeah, that's it. I'm like, this is why I'm like, I'm very excited to offer these because, you know, again, each one's kind of, I'm a template and everything, but each one ends up being so unique in its own character. There's the differences in the wood, knot placements, the grain, I mean, just everything just contributes and makes it into a very unique penguin. 
And again, I'm not saying that it would. That <laughs> would. Um, but if you painted them, I'm pretty sure you would lose almost all these unique characteristics. Then they become very uniform and very seamy. And I'm sorry, but I just I don't want that. Now, obviously, if someone wants me to paint one, yeah, I'll gladly do that. But when someone tells me to, I'm going to stain them. Get most of this character left in here. Yeah, like this one, for instance, it's got like a little bit more tighter grain. Um, not as open as like the tiger stripe one. Therefore, it almost comes out looking like um. Gives it like a nice texture. Alright. So how hidden is this novel going to be, y'all? Yeah, they stay. Mostly hidden there, looks like. And you'll still be able to kind of see that it has it. I mean, other than the fact of the top. Yeah. Cool. That's fun. I'm a little sad and we got rid of the knot hole, but it'll be fine. Alright. Uh, so this one was going to be more. We only have two of the Tiger Trapey ones. We might. So we had a third one of that. Yeah, this is gonna be more of the um nice and smooth and um fine wood textured look of a penguin. But yeah, as I said, I'm hoping eventually there's going to be lots of upgrades that we'll do. I'm kind of wanting to kind of maybe get a camera to go face down on everything here. Um, maybe even get, as I said, like a screen or something over here so I can actually look at chat better. Um, a few other things as well, but those are the main things. We'll see what else we can get done and everything. I, ideally, as the um, shop grows and everything, I would love to have just multiple angles of everything in the shop as well. But at least for right now, um, I just want mainly a camera, camera focused on the bandsaw and a camera focused over here. I feel that would help take it to when I'm bouncing between things and everything. This is down the road stuff that we're going to look at doing. No rush or anything right now on all of this. Not enough changes coming up anyway, so.
good. Alright, we got one more to go, y'all. Love getting rid of the extra, you know, and you just end up seeing the beauty of that wood underneath. Oh, well, this was the guy with the dark arm, wasn't it? I think this one was. So yeah, it kind of still has a dark spot there on his arm. Yeah, for the most part, got rid of it. Oh, cool. Right, now let's do the thick boy. I think this might be a chunk of walnut. So this dark walnut isn't doing too much stain wise to it. But it's like it's bringing out the natural beauty of the wood. But as I have no idea what chunk this guy is. And yeah, also, hopefully then after this batch is done and shipped out, which again, still up in the air, I'm going to get them this week, or we're going to do one more stream of them. Um, then we're going to be starting on the new project of things. I am all kinds of excited for it. Um, that pretty much, you can commission me to make, I'll make anything I would. And if you wind up that we're going to be doing as test ones. Let's see how they end up going. So let's rub this guy down. This one is going to be cute. Okay. A minute now, we're just going to wait a few seconds and we'll rub that guy down. Welcome on in, Winter Miser. How are we doing today? Yes. <coughs> yes, we're making some good penguins here. Oh. I, I unfortunately don't I don't keep pictures of the completed ones. Um <laughs> but welcome on. <laughs> yeah, moving the penguins. Ooh, that's exciting. 
Um, I'm guessing you do woodworking type stuff as well, or or like artwork of penguins. Trying to think. Okay, gotcha. I'm like I I I can. Remember. I was like I don't know. Like some people, I want a little bit artsy out there and everything. <laughs> gotcha. You'll see them in real life. Gotcha. I absolutely. I always love seeing penguins. Um, they they are just. Ooh, the bottom of Chile. Um, what, what, which one? Are, which ones are there down in Chile? I forget which penguins they are, but yeah. Um, that is freaking awesome, though. Um, Is there five different kinds? I thought... I thought that was like the one area that it had like only one type. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not completely up to date. Chile, Chile is a good place for chili. <laughs> yeah. I so said I'm like, I, I shouldn't... Gotcha. Okay, that maybe that's what I was thinking with the Galapagos one. See, see, you would think I would, you know, having my entire thing based around penguins and everything, you would think I'd have better penguin facts and st stats and everything around here. Such is life, though. Um, but yeah, still, that is freaking awesome. Um... As I said, I've only seen penguins in zoos and everything. I've not been able to see them out in their wild habitat, which would be all kinds of fun and amazing as well. Um, yeah, hopefully that all goes well for you. <laughs>